another review. And now, something completely different. And yes, I'm going to leave the Jesus comment up there. I think it's fun. Uh, Gamer Jesus. Is that a thing? Is that a thing? Should I take that? Maybe I can, maybe I can take that name. Anyway, let's talk about Firewatch. This is a game... Oh, man, where do I begin with Firewatch? Um, I'm going to begin no spoilers, and then I have a spoiler sign I made, see? I'm going to put that up once there's spoilers. So, for Firewatch, this is a game I wasn't super anticipating, but this is something that I knew about and knew was coming and did want to play, obviously, since I fucking played it. Um, ah, man. Okay. So the game looks gorgeous. It runs pretty well. I play it on PC. Uh, apparently on um, PS4 it doesn't run super great. But whatever. There, uh, I mean, that's that sucks, but what can you do? It doesn't run super great on... Super great. It doesn't run that well on PC. There's some little hitches, but it overall runs fine. That's good. Looks great. Phenomenal. Uh, other things that are non-spoilery. Uh, I think the controls are really awkward. You have to hold down the left trigger to raise up the walkie-talkie. And then pre you can cycle through responses with LB and R, uh, or the D-pad, if you're so inclined. Um, and the game doesn't tell you you can also use the D-pad. And it's kind of confusing how it works, but you understand it. And I understand it's trying to make you feel like you're using a walkie-talkie, but it, it kind of just felt weird. But that I can get over that. That's fine. Uh, oh, I never even explained the game. You're... You're in a forest, whatever, and you're talking to someone. There, that's my explanation of the game, but without spoilers. Uh, the other thing with the, with the controls, the map, you bring up the map with the D-pad, and then the map covers the screen, you have to look on the map. Uh, that's how maps work. But the controls kind of suck, you have to hold LB to zoom in, and then to close out of the map, you have to press up on the D-pad, you, you can't press D, or D, not a D button, B, you can't press B. And it's just awkward and weird, but I mean, you get used to it and it's fine. It's just when the only gameplay, in air quotes, is walking around and looking at stuff and looking at your map, it becomes annoying when you're constantly throwing this map up and it's flipping around and, and, uh, you can't run while you're looking at the map. You can't see the, uh, the compass while you're looking at the map. So, well, okay, so the story, Without saying, without spoilers, the story starts off really well. And then it goes on for the first couple of days where you're in this forest looking around and watching for fires and oh, some teens are up to no good and you have to go deal with them and I start picking up shit in the world because I, that's fun. I pick up a pine cone and I carry it with me throughout like this entire video just for fun because I'm weird. Um, I'm a pine cone friend, man. You gotta have a pine cone friend. You even lived until you had a pine cone friend. So, whatever. And then the story about a little under halfway, maybe about halfway, uh, becomes something different. And, it, and the pacing rapidly changes. It becomes a mystery. And the end of that mystery, I feel, is very underwhelming and stupid. Um, and I'll get into why uh, once spoilers start. Is that all? I might just start spoilers because, god, this game is frustrating. Um, yeah, spoilers now. Spoilers. Okay, the first ten minutes start off with this emotional, crazy thing I did not expect of your wife having early onset, I guess, dementia. And, and it, and it really hit me and I really enjoyed it. I thought this game was about divorce or, uh, or like your wife died or something. I knew there was something with a wife. Um, but I didn't quite understand why. I don't think they ever said, and good on them. Because I would have been expecting something more from the story, and I did not get that. So the first ten minutes starts us off. It's sad. I was crying, whatever. Not, not like sobbing, but, you know. Uh, it was sad. And then the first day is slow, and you're, and you're, it's plodding this pace of like, well, I don't know what's going on. I'm holding a pine cone. Um, I'm looking around in the forest, I don't really know what to expect, oh, shit, these stupid teens are up to no good, oh, man, someone broke into my uh, tower, that's the, that's the word I forgot, someone broke into my tower, what's going on, 
that's weird. Oh, there's a, someone cut out the lines. Oh, this is super strange. I don't know what's happening. And that's all great. And then after that, it, it starts going, oh shit, what's this fenced off area? Are, am I being watched? Are we being watched? And then your character is knocked out and it doesn't make any sense as to why that other character does anything. Okay, so we'll get to that. And you're like, is this some big conspiracy? You find a lab and you find all this equipment. What's going on? I thought this was, are we being studied? It looks like we're being studied. This is crazy. And, and the voice acting and everything is great and it's, and it's, it's, it's pretty good. And the writing's good too. And it, and that's the problem with it is that it tells this mystery story. And the mystery while you're doing the mystery is really interesting. And then the, the resolution of the mystery all of a sudden happens and it's the, the biggest thud of the game just falling flat on his face I've ever experienced. It's just like, that's what it was? Is this crazy guy? So disappointing. And I don't mind that it wasn't a co government conspiracy. I mind that this person's rationale for doing all these shit to you makes no goddamn sense. This is a guy whose son he may or may not have killed, uh, but I think it was an accident. This guy, instead of doing anything normal or logical, decides to live in the forest where his kid was killed and keep that area locked off or kid died and to prevent other people from finding the body. For some inexplicable reason, that's what he thinks is the logical path. And then he starts doing all this crazy shit to them for some reason like burning the forest down also for some reason he stayed here for years for years not once did he think oh well maybe the body will just be found and i'm gone missing and they'll just think i'm dead too no it makes no sense at all why he's doing any of this stuff why he's there still why he didn't clean up half this shit why he didn't pick up his son's backpack which had all the rope and the camera in it why 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 do you leave all this stuff there it makes no sense and, and it and it's really frustrating because it does make no goddamn sense this is a minor character that had meant nothing and all of a sudden was the main crux and it was like i guess this is sad i don't know and even going back before that those girls that were um doing fireworks that was a much more interesting plot line when i thought they might have been mauled by a bear that was an interesting plot line where is this going to go what's going to happen Oh, how about nowhere? How about fucking nowhere? And it was all the crazy guy. Oh, that's what I wanted. Oh, how about the 10 minute intro that was super emotionally impactful that really had nothing to do with the rest of the game? How about that? How about we talk about that? Because that's extremely frustrating. That's what I wanted the game to be. I wanted the game to be that, plus you just looking out for forest fires for, for four hours. The pa Again, the pacing of the first two days where you're not involved in this mystery, it's like minor mystery stuff, is so good and is so exactly what I expected. And and the mystery was great while it was happening, but you can't leave a mystery on the vine and solve it like that. It is such garbage. And it makes no sense. Oh, so you get to see a glitch in the game right here. And coming up. And it... And it so the, there's these kids. Oh god, it's so frustrating <laughs> because these kids and and your wife with dementia, so much more interesting. And every once in a while, the game kind of has a uh, the other girl, the the girl in the wa other watchtower, talking to you about it. And it's like, well, if you don't want to talk about it, okay. And you can kind of tell her what you want. And, but I thought the game was about you spending time in the forest alone because you're trying to understand what to do with your life and it isn't about that at all and they make this stupid claim of like we're telling real adult stories and i'm like yeah you were for half the game and then he told some weird bullshit mystery that had no emotional impact oh that guy you you kind of know may or may not have killed someone and punched you in the face once okay i guess he and he, and he burnt the forest down all right I, what what it's crazy and, I, and it's and it's just disappointing because everything else is done so well. Like the story is told really well. The, the, the framework of having this walkie talkie 
is interesting and works very well, but it doesn't make any goddamn sense. The, the last the half of the game doesn't make any sense. And it, it, it really doesn't. Why would this person stay in the forest for years just to prevent you? And then this person's so smart, but they don't understand not to leave their backpack out with the keys that you're going to find. And then they talk to you with them and it's like, I guess I couldn't solve everything. Oh, well, I'm leaving to, Me uh, to Mexico or to Canada or somewhere now. I'm like, what? Why? You, if your kid, it looks like an accident. If your kid died in an accident, just get the police involved or just fucking leave if you if you can't deal with it. Just leave and now your kid's missing forever. No, instead you have to go missing and live in a forest for years. It makes no goddamn sense. What was he doing this entire time? Just waiting? Just waiting for someone to show up so he can prevent them from finding his dead kid who's been dead for years? What? It, it's like, I, I, I have no problem with the, 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 the solution to the mystery being just one guy. You know, it, it could have been this grand scheme, but no, it's just you're being tricked by this one person. Sure, that's fine. But make them have a logical reason to be doing these things because they don't. They don't. How did no one find this person? Because in the five seconds I was there, the girls found me. And actually, come to think of it, it might not have been the girls that broke into your place or did any of this shit. They probably just left. But then you find the guy's radio. You find the girl's radio. And this stuff, did he steal that from them? What's happening? Doesn't make any sense. It. And overall, because of that, the game's fine. The game's fine. It's interesting. It does. It tells the story really well. It's pretty. You use a map in it. <laughs> but it just comes off as such a bitter taste in my mouth of like yeah i don't want this this is not what i wanted like go play gone home if you want a good story in a walking simulator game go play gone home that's a much better story much better maybe it's not performed as well but it's a better story more interesting it doesn't randomly have some guy who set the forest on fire and, and may not have killed his son for no reason doing shit for no fucking reason again for no reason other thing, pacing. Because I played this game, it took about four hours, and I did explore a lot. But not a lot to explore, not a lot to find. Um, see, four or five hours is probably what it's going to take you to play it, uh, which is fine. But I really felt like I should have stopped. I played it in two sittings. I should have stopped playing the game and played it again the next day. Like This, this is a game that would benefit from filler, actually, because of the, the mystery stuff is so quick and it happens so fast. And it doesn't make any sense. And, and, and you look at it, this was pointed out by uh, Colin Moriarty on Kind of Funny Games. The game's like, okay, day one, day two. And then it's day seven, day 19, day 76. And it's like, what the fuck happened to all these other days? All these other days where I was supposed to be thinking about my wife who I've lost and getting over it. But instead, it's just, oh, I don't know what's happening. Oh my gosh, there's girls here. And then, oh, place is on fire. And, and going back to the pacing, if I had stopped to play the game over three days, I think I would have enjoyed it more. I think I, I think the pause and the, the anticipation and the moments where you're not playing, where you're thinking about what could be happening, would greatly benefit this game. Instead, it's a game. <laughs> you know, it's a thing. And it's fine. And I carried a pinecone around. Because honestly, that's what I'm going to remember about this game, is that I carried a goddamn pinecone around. Which, FYI, don't bother carrying shit like that around. It's just, oh my god. I don't, and I understand you could really like it, but it sets you, the first half, the final, final thought, I guess. The first half sets you on such an interesting track, and then the last half completely ignores it. And that's the problem. It, it's two disjointed parts of a whole, and I don't buy really anything that happens in the last half of the game. It's not that compelling. It makes no sense. Uh, yeah, that's good storytelling, I guess. 
apparently to some people, they liked it. And maybe you will. But I think it's kind of... It, no, it's not kind of contrived. It's very contrived, the ending with that. And the whole, you don't get to see... What's her name? Delilah. You don't get to see her at the end. I'm fine with that. I'm fine with their bittersweet goodbye. That's fine. That's good storytelling. That's fine. But everything involving this mystery and, like, the solution to this mystery... I'm using a lot of air quotes today. The solution to this mystery? Garbage. Just straight garbage. I don't understand it. I don't understand it. <laughs> this is the answer. <sighs> I've been, I have been disappointed by every single game I've played. New game I played this year. I was disappointed a little bit by Rise of the Tomb Raider. Disappointed, even though I really loved The Witness, disappointed by it in, in a lot of ways. Disappointed by this. I don't know. I don't know what's happening. Don't know what's happening. Anyway, that's the show. Every Friday, live, 3 p.m. Pacific time, I'm here for the foreseeable future, doing whatever this is. Look like Weird Al, I look like Jesus, um, and a lot of 70s rock people, if you look them up. Just look up random ones. I look like some of them. But yes, I do the show. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. This is a short, short one. Short one. Almost short like Firewind. Beautiful game. Look at it. It's very pretty. Very pretty game. Does not save it for being obnoxious. <laughs>